I had my mic um, backwards <laughs> this whole time. Well, this is take like 40 something. I had the mic on flipped. I'm a little rusty apparently. <laughs> Gotta get used to filming. I've been making this uh, gyrosphere station collab thing with uh, Paul Del Mox. I've been working at it for a long time, and you'll see why. And it's kind of the reason why I'm slow on mock building. Like, it feels like I am the most unproductive builder ever, but I'm spending just as much time building mocks as I normally do. It's just I'm putting out less mocks because I'm trying to make them fantastic, and it's my own fault. Trying to make my builds go from zero to hero, like I like to say. So this thing is packed with details, and it's taken forever to build, and I just launched like a thousand pieces off the side. Oh well. That's actually, what, five pieces? That's not a thousand. Um, yeah, I'm also trying to incorporate stuff like lights. Turn that thing on. You got lights under there. Don't know if you can see that, but there's lights, where I'm trying to put lights, and I'm trying to make this thing look crazy. Like, look at the angles in this thing. You see angles there? Also, is finding pieces harder for anybody? Because I moved my stuff out here and finding stuff here is so easy and quick, like it's so accessible. But when I was building in my closet before, this stuff was in like bigger drawers, so it was easier to dig through. But now, if I want to find blacks for something, even if I want like a one by one stud, I gotta dump this whole thing out. These things are filled. And it's sometimes very, very frustrating to find small pieces because it's just, it's such a big drawer. Also, don't these look good? They look good to me. The batteries on this one are dying out. Look how dim they are. I need to replace them. They're not even flickering. They're on like the battery saving mode. So, plus, look at all these things missing heads. But that's just because I'm working on stuff. I was trying to do some photography, but my camera ran out of batteries, and then the stuff I did get with like uh, Geralt from uh, The Witcher, well, my SD card, um, when I formatted it, I forgot I took these pictures, and I was like, oh, well, I haven't done anything, and I don't need any of the footage I already backed it up. Forgot I took pictures of this dude, so I wiped it all clean. Um, so I gotta do that eventually, but I'll do that later. I gotta do a, a Witcher mock sometime in the future. I keep saying I'm gonna do that. I even made an intro, and I just haven't done anything. Also, this tripod gives me heck. It's, uh, look, listen. Well, that was not even... Oh, that actually reminds me. Pop this baby off. I don't have a fluid head. I don't have a fluid head tripod, so what I did as like a hack was I put electrical tape around it, and it kind of made it smooth, but look at that. No wonder. The thing is like, the electrical tape is like, barely even on that. No wonder I can't get smooth shots. Yeah, but basically I'm just trying to take my mocks to the next level. I want them all to look good. I want them all to have something that's just like, wow, that technique is really cool, or man, he really went above and beyond there, or wow, that thing looks nothing like I would have imagined he would have built it. I, I basically just want to surprise with every mock, and that's the game plan. And I kind of spoiled all the surprises here by showing you this, so you're not allowed to see it anymore. That's that. Um, <laughs> but I gotta finish that, and then once I finish that, it'll be out on Tuesday. Hopefully you guys will enjoy that. Then I gotta Stranger Things, Harry Potter, a bunch of different stuff. Um, lots of Harry Potter, so I'm excited for that. But um, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video.